Hey y'all, welcome back to my home or welcome if it's your first time here. My name is Kelly Ann and today we are getting ready for Drew's second birthday party. It is tomorrow. I cannot believe he's turning two. I'm putting together this video to hopefully give you some ideas of what you can do for your kid's birthday. I really had to think outside of the box with this one because we picked a different theme. We went with category two Hurricane Drew because it is his second birthday and I had to make our invites from scratch. And I did that on Canva. I'm covering up the like personal details, but you will get the gist. All I did was I put his little face, I had to like crop his head off and just put it on top of a hurricane. And I added all sorts of cute little like warning signs and lightning bolts. And I think it turned out super cute. Since there are no really pre-made hurricane decorations, I knew that Staples would print posters and these are 18 by 24 inch posters. And this one looks like his invitation and it only costs $16 for each of these. So they're pretty cheap. You can get them laminated if you want to, but I decided not to do that since we aren't going to reuse them. And then we also got this danger sign and I made both of these signs on Canva and just uploaded it to the Staples website. But now I'm going to go ahead and start blowing up some balloons because tomorrow I'm going to be putting together balloon towers and doing all the decorations, but I want to do as much prep today as I can. I got regular like rubber balloons as well as some foil balloons. And I also got a helium tank, but I'm gonna blow those up tomorrow. The tank I think blows up like 50 balloons and the rest of the balloons that I got are gonna go on the balloon towers. Before I start blowing up balloons, I'm gonna show y'all some other decorations that I got. I'm not gonna open this, but this is just a blue Happy Birthday Drew banner that I got off of Etsy. I had it custom made for him. And then these are some like lightning bolt and cloud straws. I only got 24 of these. And then I also found some clouds that we will be able to hang from the ceiling as well as some raindrops. And I got these off of Amazon and I'm planning on putting these um, in the windows of our event space. Now we're just going to go ahead and blow up some of these balloons. I'm going to start with the foil balloons and I decided to use a straw to blow these things up. So it did take me quite a while to get them inflated and I decided not to blow all them up. I think it was like a pack of 12 or something and these just took up so much space. So I only blew up a few, but now we are going to stuff them in a bag so I can transport them to the social hall of our church. That's where Drew's party is going to be. And this party actually took place almost a month ago now. It's just taken me so long to get this video uploaded because this is a bonus video. I'm uploading it on a Saturday and typically I just upload on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. But man, I blew up so many of these latex balloons and what saved my fingers was using one of the balloon tie things, which I had to watch a couple of YouTube tutorials to figure out how to properly use it. But I think I blew up around 150 balloons. So yeah, I spent a ton of time blowing up these balloons. So later that night, Bill and I loaded up both of our cars and took the balloons to the social hall and y'all can see just how many I blew up. And then the next day I ended up blowing up even more and part of this was just my anxiety. I wanted to make sure that we had enough time to get everything done and thankfully my mom, my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law were able to help me. But I also made a list or two lists of everything that we needed to do. This just sort of helped calmed the chaos in my mind because I do get so stressed out planning Drew's party. But now we are at the social hall. You will see my mom, 
who is the tall blonde, my mother-in-law is the short blonde, and then in a little bit, my sister-in-law will be here as well, and that is my husband's brother's wife. So yeah, <laughs> the whole family's here. But thankfully, I had so many people to help set up. The first thing that we decided to do was just to go ahead and put the tablecloths on the tables. And this year, unlike last year, we are not rearranging tables. So that's gonna make cleanup a lot easier. But we're just gonna hang up this happy birthday Drew sign and this is gonna be our cake table. So now we are going to hang up the posters that I showed earlier in the video and I'm so glad we got these because there is so much blank space in this social hall. So I just did not know what I could do to fill up some of this space. So I thought of these posters and then I also thought of the large cloud balloons I'll be hanging up in a little bit. But man, I think these signs turned out so, so cute. Now I'm gonna hang up some raindrops and some clouds in the windows. We are going full out hurricane theme here. And I am impressed with how everything turned out. I mean, it's still just a blank space social hall, but I think you could tell we had a theme going on here. It's all about us, as we're dancing close together, making So we hung up all the cloud balloons in between the windows and next we are going to move right along to the balloon towers and these are the most time consuming thing. You got to put the balloons on this little round hook thing and then sometimes the balloons pop off when you put them on the stand but I love the look of the balloon towers so I have no regrets. And while we were doing this, the boys were out running errands. They had to pick up the cakes from Nothing But Cakes. They were so good. Everyone raved about how good the cakes were. We got little buntlets and then a larger bunt cake as well. And they were also picking up the pizza, which we served everyone. And later in this video, you will see what happened to a couple of those pizzas. They actually got caught on fire in the oven so we nearly burned down the church hall my parents had to carry flaming pizza boxes outside so yeah everything went smooth up until that point Now we're going to make the hurricane punch and the recipe for this is super easy. It's just a can, a large can of pineapple juice, a two liter of lemon lime soda. I just use the store brand. You can use Sprite as well. And then a jug of the blue Hawaiian punch and the little canister thing that we're putting it in is actually from our wedding. We had our wedding reception in the social hall and we had two of these. I can't think of like what they, they are, the drink dispenser things. We had two of those left over from our wedding. My original plan was to have balloons on all the tables, but the pizza fiasco sort of stopped everything in the tracks. So you will see how far my parents had to take flaming pizzas and you will also see the mess that it made. But that sort of just like stunted everything when it happened and we just had like one giant bouquet of balloons blown up. But man, it was crazy. But overall, I am super happy with how all the decorations turned out. I think it looks super cute. Like 
Drew enjoyed his own little buntlet from the Nothing But Cakes. I got him his own because I didn't want him like blowing all over the main cake, but he had so much fun. We had a great turnout. I know you can't tell from this video, but there was probably about 30 people there. So hopefully one day when we are in a single family home, we can have his parties at our house and just not have to deal with setting up such a large space. But we had such a great time. But I just feel like dancing. Are you feeling it too? Oh, baby. Won't you love me? Won't you love me? Won't you love me? Love me like yesterday. Don't you feel it? So this is footage of the actual morning of Drew's birthday and my mother-in-law got him this cute little bluey ride-on car and I also made him some bluey toast. It seriously it took me 20 minutes to make this bluey toast. I figured it's a special occasion so why not and Drew is absolutely obsessed with bluey right now. He didn't really eat the toast but he did eat all the fruit off of it but I think it turned out so cute. I got the like tutorial or inspiration from it off of Instagram. I definitely did not think it was going to be as hard as it was, but it made him smile and that's all that matters. And he's also eating at his new table for the first time. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video.